At least it's not a compound fracture. <laughs> Sorry about that. You just hang tight here. We ain't going anywhere tonight, so I'm gonna check this place out. Oh. How'd you find me? What? How did you find me? I was looking for you. What? My job is to find survivors, and you're a survivor, correct? Yes. That's how I found you. I did my job. I'm so cold. Ugh. Cold floor. Let's get you covered up. Oh, thank you. Ah, damn, that hurt. Sorry about that. So what's your job? I'm a sweeper. A sweeper. Um, are there more of you? I'm, I don't understand anything anymore. So what's your name? Deborah Jackson. But everybody calls me Coach DJ. Coach DJ. Nice to meet you. Well, my name's Austin Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Same last name. Maybe we're related. <laughs> Maybe. So why don't you tell me about yourself? <sighs> I was an eighth grade volleyball and basketball coach. Had a boyfriend for six years. Why he never asked me to marry him, I don't know. I love coaching and the kids were my life. Maybe that's one of the reasons why. I'll never get to ask the question now, will I? Uh, so can I ask you a question? What happened? Why did it happen? And what happens next? <laughs> I guess I'm not the first person that you found, huh? You would be right, Coach DJ. Well... It's a long story. <laughs> well, since we're not going anywhere tonight, I think we have some time. Fine. Well, where do you want me to start? What do you mean, where? I mean, everybody asks the same three questions, just not in the same order. Some want to know what, some why, and then some just simply want to know what's next. Uh, I guess um, from when the bomb went off. Where were you when it happened? Uh, I had just finished up practice. I was in my office and the kids had just left the gym. Makes sense. What makes sense? Everybody I've saved so far stayed out of the fog after the explosion. The fog? Chemical warfare, weapons of mass destruction, yeah, the atom bomb all over again. Who did this to us? Who did it? Uh, we kind of did it to ourselves. The world? Not so much who. We pretty much just did it all to each other. The conflict had reached its boiling point. Next thing I know, we were being told to prepare for hell. So if it's, if it was like a nuclear bomb, then why didn't it like wipe everything out? Like I said, it was chemical warfare. Missiles were launched and the world was covered with a gas. The fog. The fog, correct. The reason for the fog was to infect people, to wipe each other out, not to destroy the world. Once the chemical was in your system, the change was almost immediate. 
that's why people went crazy. Yeah, I guess the best way I can describe it is, have you ever seen an animal on rabies? Well, in times that times 10. The fog only lasted an hour, but it was long enough for the infected people to start transmitting the disease. So they're not zombies? <laughs> no, they're not zombies. They're just like you and me, alive. They can be killed. But why? <laughs> My best guess, money, control, power. That doesn't matter anymore. Now it's all about survival and me finding survivors. So where were you? Shepard Air Force Base, Wichita Falls, Texas. We were on high alert. I remember putting my mask on, putting my wife's mask on. It seems like in less than an hour we were in Hell. What happened to your wife? She was in a bunker for a couple of months. It was like 500 of them, doctors, scientists, and some other people that could help restart the world. So she's a she's doctor? She's a doctor. More like a scientist. She knew the effects that, that this chemical had on animals, but she they didn't know it had this effect on humans. So there's no cure? Not right now. But she's working every day to find one. Where is she? Alaska. <laughs> Alaska? Yep. Why Alaska? Safest place. She's still there? Yeah. So, um, so what, what happens, happens now? <laughs> yes, what happens now? Well, I get you back to the base camp, get you on a chopper, and get you back to Alaska. What about you? I'm here for six weeks, then I can go back. There are more here? Or? There's six of us in this area. We all patrol a 10 mile radius. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm just asking a lot of questions. I know it's... <laughs> it's not a problem, trust me. We're already gonna be here, so feel free. So, these things, if they're not zombies, this thing that they're carrying, is it contagious or...? Yeah, the disease is spread through the bloodstream. I mean, get a scratch on the arm, or even if the infected spit on you. The change happens in less than 24 hours. I'm just like them. Afraid so? You okay? Are you okay? I knew Are that you girl. okay? I knew that girl. Okay. Coach. Coach. I knew that girl. She looked at me like she remembered me. You don't know that girl. You think you do, but you don't. Listen, all she wanted to do was kill you, plain and simple. These are the answers to the questions you were asking. Now we gotta get out of here. We gotta find us a new place before dark. Because if there's one, there's more. You might wanna take this. 
Obviously, I can't use it to save my own life. I understand. Oh.